Welcome to a brief demonstration of IBM SPSS Neural Networks. The Neural Networks add-on module uses neural networks for predictive applications such as multi-layer perceptron in radio basis function networks. In this demo, we will focus on multi-layer perceptron. For this example, a loan officer at a bank needs to be able to identify characteristics that are indicative of people who are likely to default on loans and use those characteristics to identify good and bad credit risks. To run a multi-layer perceptron analysis, we go to Analyze, Neural Networks, Multi-Layer Perceptron. Select Previously Defaulted as a Dependent Variable. Select Level of Education as a Factor. Select Age in Years through Other Debt in Thousands as Covariates. Then click the Output tab. Deselect Diagram in the Network Structure group. Select ROC Curve, Cumulative Gains Chart, Lift Chart, and Predicted by Observed Chart in the Network Performance group. Select Independent Variable Importance Analysis, then click OK. Now let's take a look at the output. The case processing summary shows the number of cases assigned to the training sample and the number 4 to the holdout sample. The network information table displays information about the neural network and is useful for ensuring that the specifications are correct. The model summary displays information about the results of training and applying the final network to the holdout sample. The classification table shows the practical results of using the network. For each case, the predicted response is yes if that case's predictive pseudo-probability is greater than 0.5. For categorical dependent variables, the predicted by observed chart displays clustered box plots of predicted pseudo-probabilities for the combined training and testing samples. The ROC curve gives you a visual display of the sensitivity and specificity for all possible cutoffs in a single plot, which is much cleaner and more powerful than a series of tables. The cumulative gains chart shows the percentage of the overall number of cases in a given category gained by targeting a percentage of the total number of cases. The lift chart is derived from the cumulative gains chart. The values on the y-axis correspond to the ratio of the cumulative gain for each curve to the baseline. An independent variable is important because it is a measure of how much the network's model predicted value changes for different values of the independent variable. Normalized importance is simply the importance values divided by the largest importance values and expressed as percentages. This has been a brief presentation of one of the capabilities within IBM SPSS Neural Networks. To find out more, please contact an IBM sales representative or visit our website.